Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, great. Where the hell am I? Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off.
I don't think Emma was the mastermind here. <laughs> then who? Well, Caitlin. All of them, I guess, but mostly Caitlin. She's sneaky. Huh. Truth or dare is a stupid game, right? I don't know. Maybe it lets us act how we really feel. Uh, or it lets us act as props to help Jacob and Emma hash out whatever bullshit they've got going on. So, then do you have feelings for her? No, I mean, I just meant the whole thing's dumb, that's all. You remember the second or third day of camp, when we were assigned to take our cabins down to the island ropes course together? Yeah, that was when we met. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember that camper? That, uh, a little accident on the course? <laughs> he was so embarrassed. Thought his life was over. I had to take him to get cleaned up before anyone noticed. Well, except you, I guess. Thanks for not telling anyone. That wasn't actually the first time we met. We met at orientation on the first day. We did? Yeah, there was like a million people. <laughs> um, but honestly, you kind of seem like a dick. I said hi and you barely acknowledged me. Shit, I'm sorry. I've seen most counselors make fun of their campers. Tease them a little. Jacob does it. Emma kind of does it too. But you don't. I've had my moments. I'm not proud of some of the stuff I've done. That'll be Jacob's influence. Yeah, I tend to just fall in line when he's around. You're not Jacob. Don't try to be Jacob. Who wants to be Jacob? Girls are into Jacob. Not the cool ones. <laughs> Who are the cool ones into then? Guys who are cool enough to help a camper out of a sticky situation. That makes me feel a little better. Oh! <laughs> 
Very true to dare. It's a fun game. I never wanted stuff. I stop me flicker like. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you're found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this... Us... Was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... <sighs> you just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you do, I can't believe you, the, you fucking Frenched him! <gasps> you know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> You you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. if it was near here. numbers.
someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Got ya. The hell, man? Oh, okay, okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> hey, bitch! Oh, stop being a rock! Attack! Be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little prune. Oh, you know what I mean, like, like this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be the summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay. Oh, look. How about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey. Where are you going? Come on! Huh? Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream! And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream! I can't hear you! Okay, look, just... Just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? 
Oh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick! Go! Maybe... Maybe you should go. Look, I gotta help Abby. Go! He might be hurt too! That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Okay, okay. All right. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Jesus. There's a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Who the fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? If you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Back to it then, back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go, oh the fun you'll have. I'm 
was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was. There was a guy there, but. There was some kind of. Some kind of animal. What the hell? What the fucking kind of animal does this? Did I, did I get, is, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. So, oh, sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck the fuck that hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? No, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, Jesus Christ, um, I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Well, no, I just, I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know, it's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. 
Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... here guys you're acting like pricks both of you jacob we're keeping this nick and abby are injured we need protection there's someone around here <laughs> ryan sorry this is bullshit make sure she's safe if she's on the island she's definitely fine and what risk another uh, run-in with captain deliverance no thanks okay there's probably another boat by the zip line either way i can make it to the island from there we need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs? and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm bending. Explorer venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative, by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. 
I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. Jacob's real problem is, he thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him. She says, recording her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Okay, that's not true. Honestly, I think I'm deflecting. I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a, in a wedding dress or something like that. Loki actually considering it. But hey, here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those, I'm sorry officer, I have no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look. It seems, seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff or maybe one of the guys back there, but I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Hmm. 
fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks, I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought.
We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? Uh -huh. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are, so they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though. It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Or your whole head. Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but... That's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. No, fuck that, I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? 
I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck. Are you finished berating me? I could go on, but please take your turn. <sighs> Look, I know that you're Mr. Large and in charge in a crisis, and that's great, but I finally feel like I have one piece of control over the situation, and you want me to give that up, and that's just brutal, dude. It's, it's not worth having this argument with you. Well, you started it, man. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> that time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. <laughs> <laughs>